Hi there, tarot lovers. Our card of the day today is the reverse page of cups. So, so the pages are the youngest member of the court and they, in a way, they represent our childlike nature. So they're going to connect with a lot of our inner child stories and because this is the page of cups the, and the child who most easily relates to our emotions and our feelings and that subconscious creativity in our lives this page is quite an important page and i think everybody can relate to this part of uh, the inner child because when we were children we you know, we were definitely taught some way or another, either from our parents or friends or, or somebody around us, some type of negative relationship with our emotions. Whether it was our parents who were reacting strongly and harshly towards our, our anger or towards our fear, because they basically didn't understand how to validate those emotions for us and they were uncomfortable themselves with feeling those feelings inside of themselves so that when we mirrored it back to them then they naturally rejected it as well in the same way that they reject their own feelings and we we learned and we always did learn as children from those caregivers that are most influential around us how to act so we copied we copied their actions and reactions and if they did some suppression then we would do the same they would have taught us to do the same as well and whether it was through an interaction with our siblings where um, where we emotionally got a bad reaction when we triggered somebody so strongly that they had a harsh reaction back to us and when our emotions flared up and when we are we were too young to know how to deal with ourselves emotionally we just got wild and crazy as kids have a tendency to do because they don't have the tools to understand where and how to put boundaries on their emotions in those moments we would definitely have had some negative reactions in the world around us and those reactions would have taught us to suppress and repress and, and sometimes often deny our emotional body and it's like taking that cup and throwing it away and saying no that cup's no good for me when in reality it's you know we, we're having this dual relationship with our cups because because some of those cups we really want we want the love that's in that cup we want the joy we want the happiness that's in that cup but if we were taught strongly to have a you know if we were taught to focus on the more negative relationship to the cups as in really dwell upon the more negative emotions and those negative emotions became what were longer lasting in our memory what were more what were the stronger um the stronger memories in our life and the stronger traumatic experience if those traumas were stronger than the joyful ones were stronger than the loving amazing experiences we had then we well, we may have a pessimistic tend tendency in our life. We may have a, mo a more stronger rejection than acceptance towards our feeling body. And that's when this, ca this card comes up reverse. So this is the page is looking at this cup with a fish coming out of it. The fish represents the part of our, sub the part of our consciousness, which is swimming around in the subconscious and becoming aware of all of that. Wow other world that's inside of ourselves and so the page is definitely this more innocent childlike nature that is becoming aware of something new of something wow of something amazing this page believes in magic it believes in just the joy and, and the love and the thrill of life he wants to just get out there and play and be wild and be carefree but when this page is uh, reversed in some way, we've lost a little bit of that child. We were taught to temper that child, to put um, some brakes on that child's enthusiasm, to, to maybe squash a little bit of those emotions on, on many, many levels. And 
we may have become untrustworthy to the loved ones that were supposed to validate us and give us a good example but never managed to. We may not trust love or loving people for that reason. We may find it difficult to express ourselves emotionally because of those strong reactions that we may have had to any emotional expression we had as a child. And so the repression that might come from uh, our childhood stories is something that we need to look at and something that can really unlock um, beautiful gifts of emotional expression and sharing in our lives. And to do this, you know, we really have to be honest with ourselves and go and do some inner child work. I found that because Cups is definitely a relationship you know, there's definitely a lot more emotions that come up in relationships and in relationships with the world on the outside are the ones which trigger our feelings most strongly. I've found that doing some work with other people, finding a trusted friend to express and share your emotions with and to feel safe enough with, to be able to share things that you've kept inside, to be able to learn to bring out what has been previously repressed in some way or another is a super important practice and yeah any inner child work is is rather important and this reversals even make me think about all the all the, the court and how they reflect on different aspects of our personality and how how important it is to really contact that shadow and find the gifts because when you dive into willingly when you dive into a box of emotions that you've been sort of locking away in your life for many many years you you might have to go through some crap to begin with but after the crap you find some amazing treasures and some emotional releases that will actually allow you to feel so much deeper into life and feel so much more passionate for life as well yeah i've got a lot more to share about the court i'm uh, been thinking about sharing this in the course and the upcoming courses and it's exciting to 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 work with the different aspects of our personality and under, understand how how we can really create inner transformations by by just realizing what's locked away on in on the inside but we're realizing how and why we might be suppressing certain stories and just shedding a light upon a shadow that is desperately wanting to be seen and felt in this case and experienced this this um, this page also has a negative em empathy story where he might be like a childlike sponge just sucking in emotions from all the world around him and a lot of these emotions may not be pretty ones and so he'll feel affected by and very influenced by the negative feelings of those in those around him in the world uh, and this is a work of boundaries something that I'm always also going to be looking at in the upcoming course where I really want to um, uh, speak about healthy boundaries and how we never got healthy boundaries as children and yet we still might be you know stunted uh, childlike emotional reflections of ourselves when in reality you know the rest of our some of our personality has grown up into maturity and others have stayed stunted in a in a in a more teenage adolescent you might say um, reactions and we need to learn to bring those reactions up to date drop that past and really work with it and validate it on one level feel empathic towards it and transform it and bring it to ourselves into the present so that we can really feel safe with ourselves and allow our inner child to do what what she is best at and that's just going out there and expressing herself and embracing new stories and and loving life I hope this has been a positive message for you and I wish you all a fantastic day.